Oh, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be watching some My Strange Addiction. You thought your foot fetish was weird? These are so much worse. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see a part two, make sure you leave a like. Let's get right into my ears so we can hear. My name is Natasha. I'm 40 years old. And I'm addicted to eating clay masks. Bruh. Oh! It tastes wonderful like wet rocks. It tastes wonderful like wet rocks. The fuck do wet rocks taste like? What does that one taste like? Bigger rock taste butterscotch. Taste it. You didn't lick it. I, didn't, I don't want to lick it. Hold on. Nope, tastes like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me when you run out of face masks, you go in your backyard. You get some rocks, put them in a little water, maybe sprinkle a little salt on them. Okay, Nastasha, tell me more. Clay mask that I eat starts off in a very fine powder. Sort of like when you get sand in your mouth. Oh, when you get sand in your mouth! Hell no, that is the most unpleasant shit. She's like hella enjoying herself. Mm. Oh god, that clay mask tasted so good. Can I get this girl a pizza or something? Natasha has been addicted to eating clay face mask for seven years. Isn't that shit toxic or something? How is she still alive? Seven years? She's so hooked that she consumes up to a jar a day. A jar a day? Look at those jars. Y'all, these, these are like hella big. Seriously, what's your favorite flavor? comfort to me. I kind of go into a zone and savor that flavor of that earthiness. Mm. Girl, you want earthy? Go outside, lick the dirt on the ground. My name's Kyle. I love dating grandmas. Okay. I'm Karen. I saw her pictures. I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. So looking forward to meeting her tonight. I'm sure looking forward to meeting her tonight. So looking forward to meeting her tonight. Yeah, I swear this dude's wearing lipstick. So looking forward to meeting her tonight. So you've done a lot of traveling. I've been, I've been around. I've, I've been around. I'm old enough to be your mother, definitely. Maybe yeah, old enough to be your grandmother. Well, you're clear enough to take home, though. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to dance? Yes, yes, you're right. Uh. She was 100% my type. 100% my type. She was 100% my type. <laughs> I had a wonderful time with Kyle. Yo, I, b I bet she did have a wonderful time. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Grannies are probably hella excited to get laid. My name is Mark. I'm 20 years old. And I'm in a relationship with 15 inflatable animals. Oh, hell no. It began six years ago when he purchased a whale for his pool. Did this dude just kiss an inflatable whale? Yo, he's he's in bed with this, making out with it. Boy, do you have no shame? Imagine your parents see this, your, your friends, your... Oh, wait, his whole family is like the inflatables, so he don't got anything to worry about. 20-year-old college student has added 14 animals to his inflatable family. Bruh, he's sitting eating lunch with his shark. What What else do you do, Mark? Yo, I bet they all got a hole somewhere. That's the real reason you like them. My mother really wasn't there for me. So I turned to inflatables. When I first found out about Mark's inflatables, um, I thought, that's strange, or how can you be into something that's not really real are the funnest creatures I have oh my god with in my life. he takes it in the car I'll with him them. wait you want my food do this your own yo he makes dinner for each one of them and then he's like that's my food get your own y'all got food right in front of you look at this one right here he's hella creepy look at his eye you wake up in the middle of the night and it's giving you that look he fills up their glasses full of water yo this 20 year old's got a house and it's full of inflatable animals. Hey, sexy fellas. My name Ew. is Ew. I live in Hollywood, California, and I am addicted to being Madonna. What? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be, I'm addicted to wearing my bra and panties on top of my clothes. I really challenge myself to look just like her. I have had over 18 surgeries. I have spent $75,000 to look like Madonna. I've what a waste of my money. Done, my chin done, I've had Botox. I mean, half my face is fake. <laughs> Wait, where'd you even get the money in the first place? 
That's his mom. Oh my god. His friends are like, oh my god. And that's never said anything to me I was, about her son. I was expecting a son. Change our relationship. He doesn't know when to draw the line. Oh, bro, her lips. Can I speak to your manager? My name is Kaylin. I'm 18 years old. I live in Sacramento, California, and I'm addicted to eating plastic. <laughs> Yo, she just took a bite out of the family remote. The fuck, Kaylin? Yo, I wonder what her shits look like. It's like hella colorful if she's eating all those like candy beads. Three CD cases, about 25 plastic lids on to-go cups, a hundred forks, about ten. Can, can you stop? Please stop. Would you say that you are Madonna? I am Madonna. Please stop. Say again. Yo, this dude's encouraging him. Look at yourself in the mirror and <laughs> say it again if that's what you're doing. I am Madonna. <laughs> My name is Tamara. I'm 33 years old. I live in Jonesboro, Georgia. What's up, Tamara? And I'm Tamara? addicted to my pillow. Oh, same. Me too. The connection that we have. Oh, I oh you almost tried. Bruh, it's a pillow. I mean, I like my pillow too, but... Tamara has been addicted to her pillow since she was four years old. Same. She carries it at least 18 hours a day and treats it as a best friend. Bruh. Well, my pillow actually has a name, and it's Boo. Hey, Boo. <laughs> Tamara bought her pillow at an antique shop in 1982. Oh, who buys a pillow at an antique shop? That means it's already used, and you've been using it even more for like 30 years. She has never washed it. She's never washed it? 30 years! I've been bringing around this pillow, I sleep on it every night, I haven't washed it. You know, it's got it's got some miles on it, but it's not dirty, and it's, well, it might be a little dirty, but it's not stinky. <laughs> I, I don't like when people say it's stinky. I don't like when people say it's stinky. I, it's, it's 30 years old, but I haven't washed it. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I actually have a pillow, and it's the only pillow I can sleep on. And I've had it for over 15 years. Like, I've had the same pillow for over 15 years. I mean, I wash it. I change the cover on it. I don't bring it around everywhere, but I sleep on it. And it's the same pillow, and it's, like, hella dirty on the inside. Like, it, it is, like, all brown and used up and shit, you know? Like, it does look exactly like that pillow. With me. Grocery store, movie Come on. theaters, daily the grocery world. store. I don't bring it in the restroom area. I just, I don't do that. <laughs> Always. I got too much respect for my pillow to bring it in the restroom area. In my eyesight, even if I can't touch it, it's around me. <laughs> it's like watching her play tennis. If President, whoever saw me with it, I wouldn't care. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I just get very disgusted by the pillow. It's just black and dark. Like, why do you need to hang on to this? <laughs> There's a part of me that is concerned about uh, my older sister. Dude, her brother is Kanye. Jimmy? Jimmy who? Do you feel like your addiction is something that you need to work on? I'm okay. And you don't think that can affect some of your, your relationship? No. Hey, yo, Kanye, you need to chill and accept the pillow. Like, what's he so pissed for? He probably dropped it once. She got hella mad, beat his ass. Because <laughs> I feel like if you want me, Truly me, then you're gonna accept my pillow because that is part of me. Me and this pillow got history before you came. Dang! Me and this pillow got history before you came. Before you were even born, Kenny West. My pillow came before you. So you gotta accept the pillow. My name is Evan, I'm 28 years old, and I'm addicted to pulling hair out of shower drains. <laughs> It's stress relief for me. I have this anxiety, and then I get the hair, and then I'm like, bam, I'm, I'm relieved. He collects hair from drains up to three times a week. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's like hella satisfying to like pull out a big ass clump of hair and like throw it away. Long brown hair is probably my favorite. It has to be <laughs> slimy. It has to be wet. You done fucked me up on slimy and wet. And he's just sitting there playing with it. How fascinating. Here we go, we got a big one. We got a big one. Oh, look at his face. Why are we still here? My name is Rachel. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I'm engaged. I'm a social butterfly. Oh, shit. But I can't stop picking scabs. Oh! No! 
My earliest memory picking is in kindergarten, actually. As I got older, I would actually cut open a few layers of skin just to have more scabs to pick at. My legs are tore up from cutting. The ones on my ankles, I'd cut over and over and over again. Bruh, I'm gonna cut some cuts on my skin just so they scab up so I can peel them off. The worst part is, she doesn't even peel them off when they're done. I mean, it's one thing when a scab is ready to fall off and you just like flick it off. That, that's alright, but when it's like not even done healing and then you rip it off and then it bleeds again. Oh! That is the worst. Things that shouldn't be there. There's a little bit of scab left there. Oh, you see there. what I mean? You see what I mean? She picked it off when it wasn't ready to be picked off. You gotta pick them off when they're ripe. And it's very easy for someone to get addicted to their own endorphins. If I feel pain when I'm doing this, I feel that I'm doing the job right. Oh. My name is Riley. I'm 25 years old. I live outside of Buffalo, New York, and I'm addicted to being an adult baby. Is this a dude? I dress what as a baby as often as I can. <laughs> Whenever I come home, I always slip into one of my cute little outfits, and it helps me wash away all the stress of the big, tough world. Oh! Please Riley stop! Riley has turned her bedroom into a nursery. She sleeps in her crib every night. Yo, I hope Riley doesn't live with her parents. That, that's, a, that's a little weird. I love pajamas, especially footy pajamas. Me too. Things but with ruffles and pink. Same. I love having my hair in pigtails and sucking on my pacifier. Same, but not, not, not that, no. I love her completely and utterly, and she's exactly the same way about me. What? She chun. Actually really enjoys foot rubs. That's probably one of her favorite things in the world. She Yo, that's not a real like person! What the fuck? Her foot's moving so real! I'm inclined to agree. I think Yo, people think, she's a mannequin! Uh, having a synthetic partner is strange because it's just so out of their realm of possibility. That's, for instance, why I had the psychologist come around and, uh... Yo, why this dude look like he watched Naruto? Why this dude look like he think he's Sasuke in his spare time? <laughs> with him for a bit. Is there a part of you that thinks this is peculiar? I just think it's a matter of time before more people are choosing the synthetic option. I mean, she's hella good looking. She can't see. Yeah. And she can't hear. Yeah. Yeah. So she doesn't judge me like you humans do. I started wearing diapers when I was about 13, and then that kind of gradually turned into fascination about pacifiers and onesies and baby or diaper accessories. I believe that gender is something that you can choose. I've oh! Look at the way she's rocking in the bed! Thing Yo, this is hella disturbing! I Stop! I believe that I'm a girl. It just feels so comfortable and it's just so right for me. I identify as a transgendered baby. <sighs> the relationship I have with Shichan is for my- Shichan! Her name is Shichan! Shichan, Shichan. Shichan. <laughs> Bruh, I am so done right now. Shichan. <sighs> Happiness, you know, if I play along and pretend that she can see, she can hear, that sort of thing. Well, if that's what makes me happy, you know, that's what makes me happy. So I really see no reason to change. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I feel like this is more of a normal one. I feel like if I was a dude, I would do that. Or if nobody liked me, like, I would be something like that. So I can kind of relate to this. Like just being so lonely and just feeling like you're never gonna be with somebody. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's it's, it's, it's like I feel this dude. I don't think he's weird or anything for this. Well, maybe just a little bit, but whatever makes you happy, I guess. I placed an order at the tail end of last year for a second doll. Um, her name's going to be Elena, Elena Vostrakova. Dang, you already got her name and everything. Jidore is the wife, Elena is the live-in girlfriend. Well, hold up! This dude just bought himself a live-in girlfriend and Shichan is the wife. Okay. Teresa, I am 56 years old. What's up? In Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, me too! And I'm addicted to my hairless rats. Well, you're, you're what? Hairless rats. This is rats. my I have Nelly here. This is my sweet cum slindy, and she Aww. is my little pride and joy. Aww. I'm known as the Rat Lady. 
Teresa's addiction began 10 oh, yeah. years ago when a boyfriend introduced her to hairless rats. Now a studio <laughs> apartment. Hey baby, I want to show you this here real cool animal. What? This here hairless rat. Wait, where are you going? I love you. I felt I've made many bad decisions, poor choices and did not do everything I should have done. So I found peace by having 52 hairless rats. Family hasn't had any contact at all with me. It's a weird addiction and obsession that she has. Like, who really is addicted to rats? It's not normal. Dang, your daughter is like ashamed of her. Mom, if you get one more rat, I'm gonna disown your ass. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.